Hello. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview on sessions and cookies. So sessions and cookies are different, but they are understandably used in the same sentence. So cookies and sessions are used to provide statefulness to your website. So without tools such as these, uh, every user that visits a web page gets the same exact experience. Sessions and cookies are sometimes used to provide like a personalized web page or to provide access to restricted parts of a website, something like that. So common examples of sessions and cookies would be like a login, right? You log in, we set some information in the background, and then you get a greater level of privilege on a website. Uh, another example of something like that would be a shopping cart where you add some stuff to your cart, you click on the cart page, and it's your cart page, right? It's not someone else's cart page. Maybe it lasts months, maybe it lasts weeks, maybe it lasts an hour. But this idea of being able to save information, which you can't do without tools like this. So sessions and cookies are both used to store information uh, for maybe for a long time, maybe for a little bit of time. They're used to create persistent data. So let's talk about the differences. Let's talk about a couple, a couple common applications. I'll show you a simple example in a minute here. So when we're going to compare the two, all right, so sessions are probably the more commonly used one. Sessions are oftentimes used for like a login, right? You log in, you stay logged in for an hour or for a day or until you close your web browser. Cookies are meant to be more long-term storage. So like a good example of cookie would be a shopping cart. You know, where you add some stuff to your, to your, to your cart, you come back two weeks later and you still got stuff in there. Whereas sessions are usually used just for like a login or something a little more short term. So let's talk about the lifespans. So cookies last as long as you tell them to last. Uh, there's a theoretical limit out there, but they can last months. That's not uncommon at all. Uh, sessions expire when you close the web browser. So a little more short term, but not super short term. All right, so that's the key difference between the two, I think so. So other things about cookies. So one thing about cookies that you need to know is they are stored on the user's computer. So they could edit these things and they are a bit of a security risk because they are just little text files hanging out on the user's computer. Um, you don't want to be you want to be careful not to put too much stuff in cookies because spyware commonly will will read those cookies and try and mine some information out of them. So cookies are in long term storage. They're great for what they're used for, but they are stored on the user's computer and that's potentially a problem. And sessions, sessions are a little more reliable because they are stored on the server, at least, uh, and they don't last as long. So when you're determining what do you want to use, what do you not want to use, sessions are more short term, cookies are more long term, cookies are a little bit less reliable. Um, and also there's the reality that some people are going to block cookies. So that's just another kind of strike against cookies. I use sessions a lot, but if you need to store something longer than the browser session, then yeah, cookies the the uh, the right tool for the for the task. So let me show you a little website with a simple example of what this might look like. So here's a simple web page, and on this web page, I'm going to show you what a cookie looks like. So a cookie is more permanent storage, right? It's the kind of thing that's going to last for a long time. So a cookie would be good to use on like a login form. You see how that's pre-populated for me, right? It doesn't matter how many times I come back. I promise I can close this tab. I could close the window. I can come back, and this is pre-populated because I had that little checkbox right there, and that checkbox creates a cookie. Long-term storage. So that's a good example of a cookie, right? It's long-term storage. Now, for some a site that uses sessions pretty heavily, here's a session site. So let's say I want to add some content. Well, I can't add the content because I'm not logged in. So this is a website where there's limited functionality for someone who's not logged in. Now if I want to log in, I'll show you. So if I want to log in, now I can go to this ad page. You remember how I was locked out a minute ago? So that's a good use of a session, right? So as long as I'm logged in and I've got my browser open or whatever kind of rules I want to set for this, I. Uh, my login states remembered. So login is a little bit more temporary. Something like pre-populating a field is a little more permanent, right? The entire reason you check this checkbox is so when you log in tomorrow that it's pre-populated. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit of what's the right tool for what. In reality, you could use sessions and cookies interchangeably more or less, but you should think of cookies as being a longer term storage and sessions being a shorter term storage. So hopefully that helps you to understand what you need for your next project. Thanks for watching.